over and over again. Then you are like a broken record. You aren't fixing yourself. Making yourself new, new by letting them die completely on Jesus Christ. And renew yourself by and from loving, serving, and following Jesus and living your life born to him towards eternal life with him, him, and live forever. Jesus said, Matthew 15. Thus you nullify, which is no importance to you, the word of God, the word of God, for the sake of your tradition, by and from your sayings. You hypocrite, you hypocrite, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, you. These people, you honor me, me, with your lips. But your heart, hearts are far from me, me. You worship me, me in vain. Your teachings are but rules, rules. Taught, taught by people. He replied, Listen and understand what goes into a man person's mouth does not make him unclean, but what comes out of his mouth, the person's mouth, sands. That is what makes the person unclean. Every plant that my, my Heavenly Father has not planted that are sinful will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them, leave them. They are blind, sinful guides. If a blind man person leads a blind man person, both will fall into a pit, burn in hell, death it forever. Whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach, then out of the body. But the things that comes out of the mouth of mouth comes from the heart to heart. And these what makes a man person unclean, unclean. For out of the heart, heart comes evil thoughts. Murder, adultery, sexual moral theft, false testimony, slander. These are what makes a man person unclean. But eating with unwashed hands does not make him unclean. 1 Corinthians 5.9 Associate with sexual moral, sexual moral, wicked, 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 sinful people. Not at all mean the purpose of this world, people of this world who are immoral, wicked, sinful. Or the greedy swindlers, idolaters, do not associate with anyone who calls himself the person or brother. But it's sexual moral, or greedy, idolater, or slander. A drunkard or a swindler with such a person do not even eat. 1 Corinthians 5 4. So when you are assembled in the name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I, I am with you in spirit, spirit, the power, power of our Lord Jesus Christ, present, present. So sinful nature may be destroyed and your spirit be saved on the day of the Lord. So, so you'll have eternal life with him and live forever. Amen, amen. It's Pastor Marcia, Saturday. I got to do it on my front room. It's way too cold to do it outside. Um, I made two new songs last week and the last one called TikTok, It's Time. I didn't have no time at all on it, so I figured I'd do that one. I'm in the middle of doing a, writing a Christmas song, but I'm not finished with it yet. So, anyway, this song is called TikTok. It's time.
baby. Anyway, so excuse Fly me bad, there. And my ring is coming in. Limited. It's really cold in this front room, so I had to put a jacket on. So I do hope come out okay, I'm going to put some lemon juice in my water because I need my extra vitamin Z. I just left the gym about an hour ago. Lots of fun coming up this week at Deck the Mall. And just got out of the shower over there, so. Need my extra vitamin Z. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree. Okay, now, um. Hi, I'm Pastor Marcia. Hey to everyone. He's from Rosa Fish, Jim. Governor of Syria. And everyone. Everyone, everyone newcomers. To register. Okay, first of all, I did everything myself. Everyone else is so it takes time.
the dust of the earth forever because you love and serve it, 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 it. And the things and people here as an idol, idol, idol. And dust is all you are here. And will you end buying from them? And your soul that lives inside of you will end in hell burning eternally. Oh, when Christ Jesus comes again at the end of time, bodies will raise that are dead as well and judged then as well. His righteous will rise and be with him in his new holy city. Amen. That is righteous. The sinful will be in the lake of burning fire eternally in bodily form forever. So remember that. We must always, always put God our Heavenly Father first. Love and serve Him. Live our lives for and through Him. So we will inherit eternal life with Him and His kingdom. That is what life is truly. I've had the taste of heaven and the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 20, 26. Which is love, peace, joy, etc. And I crave for more. Stored up in abundance with Him. Amen, amen. There. Okay, now this week's children's lesson is a birthday. Now we celebrate our birthday, but I'm referring to is Christmas, Christ's birthday. He was born over 2,000 years ago, here on earth for over 30 years. Preached, taught about God's kingdom, done miracles, and people were jealous of him, so they crucified him on a wooden tree cross. And he rose on the third day, Easter. The point is to celebrate Christmas as its true purpose, Christ's birthday. We get a birthday cake for him and pray to him and wish him a happy birthday. Live our lives for and through him to love and serve and follow so we will live with him and live forever in his kingdom. Amen, amen. Okay, excuse me. I know that you. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, so we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, now I've been teaching you. I know you can tired of hearing this, but it's also for the new care of comers. Read the Holy Bible, still live in today's world, and relax. In Exodus 17, 8, 9 are against the Israelites, God's people, and fight against them. The Lord God is Gan, so that these the Pharisees in Matthew 15, 6 are people who, excuse me, know by the words of God by and from their traditions, and teach and taught by and from them and people. In Philistine, Judges 14, 3, who are uncircumcised, who do not love God, and are ungodly, Cretans in Titus 1, 12, who are always liars, 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 evil brutes, his testimony is true. Gentiles in 12, Luke 12, 30, who are pagans or heathens, who worship idols, idol, idols, run after money and possessions in abundance, and are sexually moral, who serve baths and ethros, and Judges 2, 12 and 13, who serve other gods, idols, Matthew 6, you cannot serve two gods. No, you can't. God or Heavenly Father and money or whoever, whatever else you use here as an idol. Pharisees are people who do false teaching in 2 Peter 3, 16. We do other scriptures besides the Holy Bible to their own destruction, which is hell. And who hang up Jesus on the one cross and go against his purpose, your sins. Israelites in Romans 2, 29 are Jews, God's people. A man, a person is a Jew and murderer, circumcised, circumcised by the heart, by God's love, by the spirit. Egyptians, next three seven, who are slave drivers, masters, who use people to enslave by and from their own wants and desires, sayings. Excuse me, I just ate the sandwich a while ago. Samaritans in Luke 9, 53. Who do not welcome Jesus and he rebukes Levites and Bronim 81. Who are priests, priests, priests. The Lord is their inheritance, offerings made, given to the Lord. Who do not imitate the ways of the nation, which is the world. Apostles in Mark 3.14, who are Jesus appointed, designated. They will be with him and sent out to preach the gospel, the scriptures of the Holy Bible, and drive out demons. Disciples. John 8, 31, 32, who love and serve and follow Jesus. To the Jews, God's people, who believe 
Jesus and hold his teaching words of truth. You are really his disciples who knows the truth, the truth, the truth. And the truth sets you free from your sins by giving them to Jesus Christ and letting them die completely. And you love and serve Jesus. So now I'm a grandma and I say it one on ten, a rebels, rebellious. And you go against God, Jude verse 7, or sexual, moral, and perverted, who pollute their own bodies, blame from their sins, reject authority, and slander, solicitor, heavenly spiritual beings, Babylonians in Genesis 10, 8, 9, who are people from a distant land, and use themselves as warriors and mighty hunters, 2 Kings 20, 14 and 15, they store up treasures for power in our homes of demons, Revelation 18, who prostitute themselves to other gods, idols, spiritual gifts, in 1 Corinthians 12, who are prophets, etc. God's Ten Commandments in Exodus 1, and we are to abide and obey by and from, through the Spirit of Galatians 5, 22, 26, which are love, peace, joy, etc. We are to live for and through, not, not, not by and from the next sinful nature in Galatians, 5, 19, 21 are obvious sexual immorality, etc. Sexual immorality, etc. will not inherit the kingdom of God, which is eternal life. Put on the former of God in Ephesians 6, 10 to 18, so you can take your stand against the devil's gangs, sins, so God will protect, shield, and guide you through and from them. And teas and offerings, money given to the Lord, Deuteronomy 14, 22. We are to give attention to the Lord and always, always, always ask for doing it. WWJD, what would Jesus do? And do the right things for and through Him. So, whatever, whatever you love and serve here is truly who or what you are in selecting a master by and from this world you're in. By and from them, between life everlasting with God, our Heavenly Father, or death, death, death. By and from the idols you use here, and many men there. No one said that life would be easy, but life is everlasting with God our Heavenly Father. Amen. As we love and serve Him and live our lives for Him through Him here. Amen, amen, there, so I remember that. Okay, excuse me. Okay, everybody, get your holy Bibles out. Amen, amen. Run the truth about God our Heavenly Father. Holy Bible. It's the truth. Amen, amen. Remember, remember, I've been said this for a long time. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and us. Just like in the beginning, it says so in the Holy Bible. Now we live in the middle. We live in the middle, the middle. If we're what we truly love, serve, and follow here, we got to buy and obey by, go by the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible here. Go by His Ten Commandments, etc. Excuse me, I just look at the sandwich. As we go through life here, and is where we went, by and from who or what we love and serve, here is our God, or used as one, between life and lesson with God, our Heavenly Father, death by and from the idols you use here as a God. Okay, which is at the end of the Bible, it tells us what's going to happen at the end of time, when Jesus Christ comes again, we studied that a few weeks ago. Okay, go to Psalm 49. I like Psalm. Psalms like a poem or a song. Hear this, all you peoples. Listen, all you live in the world, the world, both low and whoops, low and high, rich and poor. My mouth will speak words of wisdom. The utterance of my heart will give understanding. I will turn my ear to a proverb with a harp. I will expand my riddle. Why should I fear when evil days come, when wicked receiver, deceivers surround me, those who trust in their wealth, which is money, etc., and boast in the great riches? No man person can redeem, say, the life of another. In other words, you can't buy your way to heaven. The rest of my life is costly. No payments ever enough. That he should live on forever and not see the decay. And not see the decay. For all can see that wise men die, die, die. The foolish and senseless alike perish, die. The, and live 
they walk to others, their tombs will remind their houses forever, die eternally, their dwelling for endless generations. Though they had named lands after themselves, but man in person despises riches, does not endure. He is like the beast that perish, die. This is the fate of those who trust in themselves, trust in themselves, 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 and of their followers who prove what they're saying, which is lies, 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 and sins, sins, sins. Like sheep, they are destined for the grave, will die forever, and death will feed on them, feed on them. The upright will rule over them in the morning. Their forms will decay in the grave, die forever. Far from their facility mansions by God's will, redeemed, saved my life from the grave, which is death. He will surely take me to himself. Do not be overawed when a man grows rich, when the splendor of his house is increased, for he will take nothing with him when he dies. Amen, amen. That's right. Though while he lived, he counts himself blessed. And when people praise you, when you prosper, he the person will join. People will never say the light of life. A man person has riches without understanding. It's like the beast that will perish, die forever. Amen, amen. Take on Psalm 52. Why do you boast of evil, evil, you mighty man people? Why do you boast all day long? You who are a disgrace in the eyes of God. Your tongue plus destruction is like a sharpened razor. You who practice deceit, you love evil rather than good. Falsehood, rather than speaking the truth, the truth, the truth, which is God our Heavenly Father. You love every harmful word. Oh, you deceitful tongue, tongue, tongue. Surely God will bring down to everlasting ruin, which is hell forever, death. He will snatch you up and tear you from your tent where you live. He will put you from the land of the living. The righteous will see him fair. They will laugh at him, the person saying, Him now is a man person who do not make God his stronghold, but trust in his, the person's great wealth, money, etc., and who strong by destroying others, destroying others. But I am like an olive tree flourish in the house of God. I trust in God. God's unfailing love forever and ever. I will praise, which is the love that comes from God. Sing joyfully, you forever for what you have done. In your name, I will hope for your name is good. I will praise you in the presence of your saints, which are righteous. Amen. So remember that. <clears throat> Just made a scratchy throat. Amen. Jesus Christ is born today. The Christmas time. Remember that. Amen. Christ is born today. Amen. At Christmas time. So remember that. Amen. Amen. Christ has come. Rejoice. Rejoice. Speak Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. Sing joy. to God. He is not 
like to honor his father with it. Thus you nullify, you nullify the word of God. For the sake of your tradition, your tradition, you hypocrites, you hypocrites. Isaiah was really prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts, in other words, you don't love God, are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are for rules taught by men, people. Amen, amen. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen and understand. What goes into a man person's mouth does not make him unclean. But what comes out of the mouth, that is what makes him unclean. Then the disciples came to him and asked, You know that the Pharisees were fed in when they heard this? He replied, Father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides, blind guides. If a blind man person leaves a blind man person, both will fall to the pit, which is hell eternally. Peter said, explain the parable to us. Are you so dull? Jesus asked them, don't you say that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and out of the body. But the things that comes out of the mouth comes from the heart, the heart, and these are what makes a man a person unclean. For out of the heart comes evil thoughts, 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 murder, adultery, sexual morality, theft, false testimony, slander. These are what makes a man a person unclean. But eating with unwashed hands does not make him unclean. Amen, amen. So remember that. That's what this reason. Uh, lesson was based on. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a bit of scratchy throat. I got cold earlier. And remember the most important commandment in Exodus 20 is Jesus answered, Hear this, O Israel, God's people, the Lord our God is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is to love your neighbor, which is everyone as yourself. These are the two greatest commandments. Amen, amen. That is Mark 12, verse 29. Excuse me. Like I said, I just left the gym about an hour ago, so I'm still kind of cold. I tried to take a cold shower before I left there. Okay. In John 8, verse 12, when Jesus spoke to the people, he said, I am the light, the L-I-G-H-T of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, 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 which is your sins. But we have the light, the L-I-G-H-T of life, L-I-F-E. Amen, amen. So remember that as well. In John 8, starting to verse 34, Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, Christian family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son, Jesus Christ, sets you free, you will be set free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's sin, yet you are ready to kill me. Because you have no room for my word, I am telling you what I have seen in the Father's presence, and you do, and you do what you have heard from your father. Ahab is our father. They answered. He said, "If you were Abraham's children," said Jesus, "then you would do the things Abraham did, as is as it is. You are determined to kill me, a man who has told you the truth." Then I heard from God, 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 God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the things your own father does. Your own father does. We are not legitimate children. They protest. The only father we have is God himself. She said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and now I'm here. I have not come in on my own. But he said, May, why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil, the devil, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desires, 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 which are your sins. He was 
a murder in the beginning, not holding to the truth. But there is no truth in him when he lies, 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 lies. He speaks his native language, for he is a liar and a father of lies. Yet because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? He who belongs to God, 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 hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God or Heavenly Father. Amen, amen. That's right. Okay, this is he's giving me a lot of Bible verses again. Amen, amen. First Corinthians 5. That's also what this week's Bible lesson's on. It is actually reported that there is sexually moral sexually moral among you. And a kind that does not occur even among pagans, which they don't pagans. Excuse me. I just ate some little bottle of those, excuse me. A man has his father's wife and you are proud. Should you rather have been filled with grief and a, and have put out of your fellowship the man who did this? Even though I am not physically present, I am with you in spirit. I am with you in spirit. And I already passed judgment on the one who did this, just as if I were present. When you assemble in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am with you in spirit, 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 and the power of the Lord Jesus is present, present, present. He is. He's present. He's here. This man over to Satan, the devil, so that the sinful nature may be destroyed and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord. Excuse me. Your boasting is not good. Don't you know that little uh, yeast sands works through the whole batch of dough, which is your body? Get rid of the old yeast, your, your old self and sands, that you may be a new batch without yeast sands as you really are. For Christ, our Passover lamb has been crucified, therefore let us keep the festival, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, which is sands, but with bread without yeast, the bread of sincerity and truth, true truth. I have written you in my letter not to associate with the sexually moral, sexually moral, sexually moral, which is wicked and sinful people, not at all means the people of this world who are immoral, moral, moral, or the greedy, the swindlers, the auditors. In that case, you would have to leave this world. But now I am writing you that you must not associate with anyone who calls himself a brother, but is sexually moral, sexually moral, which is sinful and wicked. Or greedy and alter, a slander, a drunkard, or a swindler, for such a man do not even eat. What business of mine to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? God will judge those outside. Amen. God will judge them. Amen. At the end. Expel the wicked man person from among you. Amen. Amen. So remember that. And, excuse me, we haven't said this one for a while, so just kind of like based on this week's uh, lesson. Okay, I go to 1 Corinthians 6, verse 12. Everything, everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible for me. But I, I will not be mastered by anything. Food is for the stomach, stomach for food. But God will destroy them both and both. The body is not meant for sexual morality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. By his power, God raised the Lord from the dead, and he will rise us also. Amen, amen, he will he'll rise us also. At the end of time, when he comes again, our bodies will rise. His righteous will live with him in his new holy city. But do you know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Shall I then take the members of Christ, unite them with the prostitute? That's what you're doing you're with the sexual moral. Never! Do you not know that he unites himself with the prostitute? 
The sexual moral is one with her, the person in body. For it is said the two will become one flesh, but he unites himself with the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is one with him in spirit. Flee from sexual morality. All other sins a, a person commits are outside his body. They who sin sexually against his own body, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. No, you don't belong to yourself. You were bought at a price, therefore honor God with your body. Amen, amen. Remember that. Honor, your, honor God with your body. Okay, excuse me. Like I say, he's giving me a lot of Bible verses. Excuse me. Okay, let's go to um, 1 Corinthians, starting... Verse 14, therefore, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. I speak to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. Is not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks a participant of the blood of Christ? Amen. Which is grape juice. It's communion. Is not the bread that we break a participant of the body of Christ? Because there is one love, there are many in one body, we are all partake in the one love. Consider the people of Israel. Do not those who eat the sacrifice participants in the altar? Do I mean that that are sacrifice offered to an idol? An idol is anything? Or that an idol, an idol is anything? No! But the sacrifice of pagans are offered to demons, not to God. And I do not want you to participate with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. You cannot have a part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. Are we trying to arouse the Lord's jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Amen. No one's stronger than him. Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. Nobody should seek his own good for the good of others. Eat anything sold in the meat market without raising questions of conscience. For the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. If some believers invite you to a meal and you want to go, eat whatever is put before you without raising questions of conscience. But if anyone says to you, this has been offered to in sacrifice, they do not eat it, both for the sake of the man, man who told you and for the conscience sake. The other man's conscience, I mean not yours, I mean not yours, for why should my freedom be judged by another's conscience? If I take part in the meal with thanks, thanksgiving, thanksgiving, excuse me, why am I renounced because of something I thank God for, I thank God for? So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God, do it all for the glory of God, 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 do not cause anyone to stumble. Whether Jews, Greeks, or the Church of God, even as I try to please everybody in every way, for I am not seeking my own good, my own good, but the good of many, so that they may be saved, saved, saved. Follow my example, as I follow the example of Christ, Christ, Christ. Amen, amen. Jesus was either a liar, a lunatic, or he was who he said he was. The Lord's hey, Supper, First Corinthians, verse twenty-three. That Jesus was just a great teacher, but there are records. Of For I see from the Lord, he fulfilled hundreds. What I also pass on to you, the Lord Jesus, Jesus on the night he was he betrayed, betrayed, took bread, and, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, "This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me." In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, "This cup, which is great." Is a new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, remember so may. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you will proclaim the Lord's death.
until he comes again. And he's coming again. Amen. Amen. Supports the ministry of WCC. Uh, we're studying more on the Lord's Supper, and we need to start studying on that. Your business name doing that at least, uh, at least uh, once a month. Under the tab, hello. Okay, listen and doing, James. One. Thanks to Start of verse 19, my dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For a man, person's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral, 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 moral filth and the evil, evil, evil that is so prevalent. And how to accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not really listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Excuse me. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man, man, person who looks at himself in the mirror. And after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man, person who looks attentively into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what... He has heard, excuse me, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. If anyone considers himself religious and yet does not keep a tight rein on his tongue, he deceives himself and his religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is moved by the world from his wants and desires, amen, amen, which causes sin and death. Okay, excuse me. Okay, let's go to Second Peter three. The day of the Lord. All for growing Christians. Dear friends, this is now my second letter to you. I have written both of them reminders to stimulate you to the whole wholesome thinking. I want you to recall the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the command given by our Lord and Savior through your apostles. First of all, you must understand in the last days, scoffers will come scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is the coming he promised? Ever since our fathers died, everything goes on as if it was did from the beginning of creation. But they deliberately forget it long ago by God's word. By God's word, the heavens existed and the earth was formed out of water by water. By these waters, also the world at that time was deluded and destroyed. By the same word, the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire, 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 fire. It's going to be burned at the end of time. Being kept for the day of judge, judge, judgment and destruction of ungodly, ungodly, ungodly people. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord. A day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. As some understand slowness, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, die forever. But everyone to come to repentance, give your sins to him, and let him die on his cross, and love some follow Jesus from this day forward. Amen, amen. But the day of the Lord will come. He's good. It's coming the end of time. He's coming again. Like a thief, the heavens will disappear, die. And the worthy elements will be destroyed by fire, 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 burned. And the earth and everything in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way. What kind of people ought you be? What kind of people ought you be? You ought to live holy, 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 and godly life. As you look forward to the day of the Lord's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And speed is coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire. And elements will melt in the air. And in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven, a new earth. Amen. It's going to be a new heaven, a new earth. This heaven and earth will disappear, die, will burn forever. The home of the righteous which is Holy City on Mount Zion, we will live forever. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with Him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means so 
salvation, just as our dear brother Apostle Paul also wrote to you with the wisdom that God gave him, he writes the same way in this letter, speaking to them these matters. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant, ignorant and unstable people distort. As they do other scriptures, they do other scriptures besides the Holy Bible to their own destruction, which is hell. Therefore, dear friends, since you already know this, be on your guard so they you not be carried away by the heirs of lawless men, which are people, and fall from your secure position, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Amen. So remember that. 1 John 2.15 Do not love the world or anything or anyone in the world if you use them as an idol, a god. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father in heaven is not in him. For everything in the world, the cravings of sinful man, the lust, the U.S.T. of the person's eyes, and the boasting what the person has and does, comes not from the Father in heaven, but from the world. The world is desired will pass away, die, and in hell. But the man, person who does the will of God will live forever with him in his kingdom. Amen. Amen. So remember that. Okay, excuse me. I want to miss my camcorder. <clears throat> Number one, let's follow me being faithful to God, Heavenly Father. Number two, love and take care of your personal family, your spouse, and children. Excuse me. Like I said, I said a sandwich. Excuse me. Number three, comes work for if it dares awake. Number four comes two friends. My number one purpose for my organization is to preach the gospel, the real God's truth. Excuse me. Put too much lemon juice in the sour. And number three is how to make our state community a better, safer place to live. I've emailed Governor Bruce Warner, Peoria, on a live poll again at Glen Oak Parks Playground. For the children's safety. They emailed me two weeks ago and said they'd discuss the issue, so I'll keep emailing them until I hear from them again. In East Pure on Cam Street, there's two light posts that are out and have been for over a year now. They need replaced for safety. I gave it to truckers over a year ago, one of my flyers, and emailed two trucking companies. So truckers can watch my summons on the Wi-Fi. Okay, now I'm an ordained pastor, so if you need my services, such as for a wedding, you can email me. It's on my site, and under Sermon 224, okay, now. I'm working on another site myself, but it's not completely established, finished yet. Okay, now I'm writing another novel. A song every week and sermon. Okay, now my oldest son's helping me on getting my first novel published. Okay, now on 800 Springfield Road in East Peoria, at Encounter Church, they have free clothing and are taking donations for kids' clothing. Their number is 309 and their service is at 10, Sundays, Saturdays in Peoria at the Methodist Church downtown by the library. They have a free mail at 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Saturdays. Uh, clothing in the food pantry at Lowe's and Fish. You can donate. Good use clothes if you have any. It'd be appreciated. They need it. Thank you and God bless you at that time. They have Christmas presents, but you have to go to their dinner to find out when. The Dream Center has a shelter and free clothing and also gives out presents for Christmas. Their number is 309 676 3000. And the Salvation Armies have food pantries. The one in Northeast Adams number is 309-655-7220 and has a shelter and free meals and a big meal on Fridays at 6 p.m. They also give out presents, but you have to sign up your kids. The one on Nebraska's number is 309-682-8886 and there's a food pantry in East Peoria at First United Methodist Church at 154 Washington Street at 1 to 3 p.m. Mondays. I'm trying to help you there on the ones that I know about. I also want to 
think the river plexa again. I was severely unhealthy. Seven, eight years ago, for my mental, social, and physical health. And for our businesses, teachers, lawyers, judges, etc., in our surrounding area, it is appreciated. What you are doing for our community, okay, now this week, went by fast. Anyway, I'll keep updates on my site. When WMBD TV, etc., gets back with me, I'll keep you informed, such as the old Caroline Motor Lodge on Knoxville. It's been empty for a long time. Will be a good location for Ronald McDonald House since it's near three hospitals. But again, as I've told you, I'm at least trying. It doesn't guarantee it'll happen. Okay, now my side. You can download some of my songs. I'll have more soon, sermons and songs every week for donations. If you do things, God bless you for it. And for missing people, I have purest permission to preach and sing on the riverfront when it's at least 55 degrees outside. I doubt if I will anymore this year. Okay, now I'll pray for the California's wildfire, for the families and victims, the hurricane victims from two months ago. My family and my mom passed away over five months ago. Dan, Pastor Dice, Jerry, and David, they have health problems. John, Heather, Jesse, Robin, Anthony, and Donald and his 22 and 23 year old daughters, they're going through something personal. Our president, rulers of our state and cities, ISIS war, pray for each other. And give thanks, I'm praying for you all, for my health organization, Songs and Novels, okay now? Like I told you last week, I finished my Christmas shopping. We are getting the cake for Jesus' birthday. This way I can celebrate on Christmas. Anyway, now may the love, peace, joy, and righteousness and holiness of God be in with you all. Have a nice and safe Christmas. Um, anyway, like I said, I just came from the gym. My hair is still a little damp and still a little cold. Um, I just ate a bite to eat, so... Um, Anyway, thank you and God bless you. And if I have room, my camcorder, I'll have another song. Hey, I have room for one more song. Yay! Um, this one's called "Listen." I uh, listen to the truth. Excuse me. Listen. Now.
song. If I get you right here, doesn't it? <clears throat> Got me. I almost want to cry. Um, anyway, remember what Christmas is all about. It's not about us. It's about Jesus Christ's birthday. So remember that. What I feel is your birthday. So, you gotta remember that. I know we can't really give him a present, but hey, <laughs> if you're loving and serving him here and living your life for through him, well, you are his gift. <laughs> you're a true child of God. Amen, amen. And you will inherit his kingdom and live forever. Anyway, um, thank you and God bless you. Hey, I'm gonna prove one more song, so, which is unusual. Um, anyway. This one's called Raging War.